Hi guys, I haven't done a vlog in a while. I know I do them <laughs> when I can and sometimes, you know, I'm going through different uh, waves of emotions up and down. So that's why sometimes they're not that consistent, but I'm trying my best. Um, today, I wanted to tell you an update about my health and what I'm doing currently. So as you know, I've been struggling with my bloating and chronic bloating for about three years. I can't believe it's gonna be three years, but actually I'm much, much better now. As you know, that the only thing that helped me uh, was carnivore lifestyle. I went carnivore very strict for about five months uh, where I pretty much ate just meat, uh, fish and eggs. Um, and I experimented with different things and that really actually helped to heal my gut and a lot of issues that I potentially already had. And then I kind of went off carnivore, I started eating whatever, then the summer came, blah, blah, blah. And I've kind of tried to get back on carnivore. So I'm not like 100% carnivore, but I would say I'm like 90% carnivore. So I started eating um, carbs again in very small amounts, um, like avocado, coconut oil, um, some veggies, and that's pretty much it, and fruit as well sometimes. So the moment um, after doing more tests and research and speaking to more professionals, I realized that actually my gut is not where the problem was coming from. So if you're watching this video, please, please, please listen to me. Save yourself some many years, okay? The, the, the main thing that you wanna check is your liver, okay? Your liver and your gallbladder. Because I've realized now that this is where the process starts, okay? And then it goes into your gut and that's what causes bloating and many other chronic illnesses like SIBO and everything else. So. Um, right now, I'm in a protocol to cleanse my liver. I'm taking different types of supplement, blah, 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 supplements. <laughs> um, I actually had a consultation with a really, really um, amazing doctor. She's a doctor, she's a gastronologist, so she's scientifically based, she's medically based, she's also naturopathically aware, and she um, understands um, you know, different symptoms. So like she's all in one. And I've sent her all my results in the last few years, all my blood work. And she literally said that, yeah, I have issues with my liver and liver is not detoxifying, liver is not processing the right way. Especially if you're over 30 uh, and you're watching this video. If you're over 40, listen to me, you have to do this. You have to go and check your liver. Even if you don't check it, the point is you need to start cleaning your liver and your gallbladder. Um, what happens is that they don't produce um, enough enzymes, bile, whatever, to digest the food, then the food gets into your gut. Um, you get a lot of bad bacteria into your gut and that's when the uh, you know pain happens in the lower side. That's when you have bloating and gases and many other things before it gets really bad, like SIBO. So uh, I still think, or oh, she thought I potentially have SIBO, even though I did a test on SIBO and it confirmed that I don't. Um, uh, she pre uh, prescribed me Rifamonix. It's like the really strong antibiotic to kill that. I wasn't able to find this anywhere here in Mexico or US. Um, so I'm not gonna take it just now. I'm gonna repeat the blood work after I do the cleanses on my liver. And now, so right now I'm naturally cleaning my body. So I've excluded um, gluten, dairy, and sugar, uh, processed sugar, okay? I still have a little bit of fruit, but ideally you can even cut that out too. No honey, nothing, okay? Um, and I need to be on this protocol for a good six months, okay? So gluten for me seems to be the main reaction that gives me um, more uh, gas and more bloating. And that's because my gut at the moment isn't healthy. So. If you are reacting to gluten, dairy, and whatever, it's mainly because you have already problems in your whole digestive system. Ideally, healthy people, they don't react, okay? Um, and the reason, you know, now going back into my history was all caused by antibiotics. I took an insane, insane amount of antibiotics back in the day when I was fixing my teeth, when I was traveling, um, and I took all sorts of tablets that I had no idea and what kind of consequences that will have on my stomach and my gut and my digestion and basically destroying all my good microbes. Everything kind of comes together now into this big puzzle that I've been collecting over the last few years. And uh, yeah, of course the stress, insane amount of stress, not enough sleep, anxiety, all of these things, they all contribute to our gut. So I actually changed the country, right? So now I live here in Mexico um, and I still travel, but you know, my, my stress levels have gone down massively. So I started tackling more. You can't just fix your bloating and your gut issues by simply, you know, taking some pills or 
by taking some uh, nutritional stuff like it literally has to be everything you have to change your whole life your diet your sleep your exercise your mental health okay so when you kind of get all of these pieces together and you understand that this puzzle that's what it takes to really combine them all together to really start healing from inside okay that's when you're going to see results now i do my meditations i do go to bed early now you know and i have changed my whole environment you know where i'm at uh, i'm still under a lot of stress and i have been but definitely it's reducing i'm working with it i'm managing it i'm working through it all um you know get a counselor get therapy do some courses work on yourself just a little bit every day because all of the healing it's like comes together, you know, you can't just heal one part of your body because a lot of it is also psychomatics. A lot of our traumas are in our body. A lot of the things that you've experienced in your childhood, mainly in your childhood, are all stored in your body. All the pain, all the things, belief systems, things that you believe about yourself, you believe about others, everything that's been put into you until the age of seven by your parents, that is basically you right now. And you have a choice now as an adult to choose what you want to take from your parents and what you don't, you know, what kind of family you grew in and what kind of environment you were in, that all really, really matters. And that shapes you as a person and shapes your decisions and how you feel and what you eat and blah, blah, blah. And basically, like I said, the, the whole gut thing is just a sign. It's like a little bell to tell you, hey, look at me, like I am not clearly doing something right. Anyway, I can talk about this for hours, I get, for hours, I get a bit excited. Um, but yeah, basically, like I mentioned in my earlier video, so right now I will show you what supplements I'm taking right now um, and what exactly they're doing. So they are, he they are there really to um, restore my liver function, uh, restore my gallbladder, uh, make sure, um, you know, like everything is working smooth and right. And then we're going to go in with other things. We're going to repeat the blood test and we're going to see. I also got this book. Um, you know, nothing in this world is a coincidence. I went, um, I went to relax one Sunday to a beach club and I met this girl. She was on her own next to me. And surprise, surprise, she has got issues and bloating. Anyway, we talked for the whole day and she was like, she's been really sick she's like a lot more sick than you know i have even been even though i feel like i've been through a lot but you know you might be in a better position in your health you might be in a much worse position in your health anyway she told me about this book i don't know if you can see it's called the liver and gallbladder miracle cleanse and funnily enough before like before i went to talk to my doctor and she told me that this is a problem this girl told me this is what was her problem. So like, you know what I mean? Nothing in this life is a coincidence. Like you get all these little messages and cues, you know, clues everywhere. So I was like, okay. Anyway, so this book, I haven't read it yet. I've just started reading it. And um, she said, it's basically what every single human should do. Um, I've read reviews, you know, I do my research. I never recommend anything that I haven't reviewed and I haven't done it yet. So I'm not gonna say like, do it. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna record a vlog on it and I will tell you if you should do it. But at the, at, at the end of the day, I'm not your doctor. You need to decide yourself. But the point of this cleanse is that actually to uh, cleanse your liver and get rid of all these stones. Apparently after the age of 30, we're starting to collect a lot of stones in our liver and you cannot see that in your CT scan. You cannot see that in your ultrasound. That's why a lot of people get sick. That's why a lot of people remove gallbladder. Um, and, and this isn't like such an easy cleanse. This isn't something like, oh, just take a bit of juice. Like this actually requires a lot of preparation. Ideally, I would want to do this with somebody um, because I think it would be more fun to do it with someone and do it together, you know, uh, because this is quite like an experience and a journey, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it after I take all my supplements after a month. And you're supposed to do this once a month until you have no stones left in your body. So I'm definitely gonna try it. The book is called um, The Live and Gold Blood and Miracle Cleanse by Andreas Moritz. You can just Google it yourself. You can read the reviews. You can order the book. Um, I don't know, it's 10 bucks, whatever. The point is like, you know, read read about it do some research especially if you're suffering with health you know especially if you're suffering with some sort of uh, gases and bloating and chronic illness and pains and everything um one of the common things that a lot of people have is like pain in their like right side or left side at the lower stomach it's like the tension you know like kind of like um it just doesn't feel right okay <coughs> 
so that could be really really big sign another thing what i realized you know i've done my because i started getting into this health thing i've done a nutritional course i've just finished my full nutritional course of 40 hours and i'm realizing even more how important it is to do your blood work guys please if you're watching this video and you're even over 30 you have to do blood work okay you have to test for most important things like okay you need to know your iron you need to know your vitamin d you need to know your magnesium levels you need to understand if you are deficient in protein if you're deficient in any of the vitamin b uh because all of these things they depend on your energy okay if you feel like shit if you feel sluggish if you feel tired if you go gas and bloating like a lot of these things are because you're deficient in very basic vitamins the food that we eat now does not provide any nutrition to us okay as it did like years and years ago so we literally cannot physically eat enough food to get all the vitamins we require that's why you do need supplements but i wouldn't recommend just buying supplements because somebody recommended them to you and just be like oh yeah i think i'm deficient in this no go and do the test okay i feel very passionately about this um and you know i started reading these tests like i've, I've read the the tests for my sister i've told her like okay you need to take this and this i'm just uh i've just you know specialized in, in a very basic nutritional course i'm not saying i'm a nutritionist I just need to know enough to understand and read the blood work. So I'm helping my family and my friends who need this. Obviously, you can do your own research and become an expert. It takes time. But I definitely feel much better. I feel different. And like at the moment, you know, like with my cleanse that I'm doing right now and all the supplements, I am doing a kind of like more like a keto diet, I would say, rather than carnivore. But I'm feeling good. I'm monitoring how I feel. I'm listening to my body. I'm going to incorporate fasting, which I haven't done right now because I don't feel like I need to, but I might. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm taking. Come with me. I'm going to show you the whole collection. Uh, first, the main thing is to have your immune system really, really good. So I'm taking this uh, G GCC, so it's basically grapefruit seed extract, okay? Um, if you don't think your immune system is good, which majority, 90% of people don't have good immune system, especially now after if you've been taking all sorts of things in the last year. Anyway, so 10 drops of this in the morning. To be honest, this can be used by anybody. Uh, vitamin C, so, no, that's taurine, sorry. Vitamin C that I'm taking, okay? 1,000 units. Um, I took the one with rose hips and um, other stuff. You don't need to. You can just take vitamin C, 1,000. I'm taking three a day right now because I'm sick. Uh, but usually if you just take one a day, that will be good enough for you. So what I start taking in the morning now, taurine. Okay, so it's antioxidant. Um, it's um, really, really good. And that's what I'm doing right now before breakfast. Okay, this is to help me with everything. I'm also started drinking chlorophyll, which everyone should try as well if you're obviously suffering with any issues. Okay, so it's chlorophyll. It's basically liquid drops of this mixture and you take it twice a day uh, be between the meals, okay? Like three drops. Um, now, for any inflammation in your body, if you have any inflammation, which majority of us do, I'm taking omega-3 fish oil. Now, this is a wild cold fish. This is really important because a lot of the fish that you buy is basically crap okay and you need to look at these numbers here you see 1200 500 mg you need minimum 1000 anything less than that not going to do anything for your body this is the one i use it's really good you also need vitamin d and k vitamin d doesn't digest well without vitamin k so get the one that has two in one and also look at the amount of units i got the one um with 4000 uh, which is pretty good. This is to maintain. You can get lower if your vitamin D is super high. Um, now, and I'm taking uh, zinc every morning as well, but I'm taking a specific tin that she recommended to me. It's called Picolinate 22 mg. Um, now, that's just to help with my immune system again, and my it's an antioxidant. This stuff is amazing. Natural, natural antibiotics. Everybody should have this in their house. It's in a bark. It's South American remedy. So I'm taking this right now for a month as well, two capsules after every meal, so just for a day. And then I've ordered these organic digestive enzymes. She recommended these to me. Usually I wouldn't take these because they have a lot of fruit and veg here, which on carnivore lifestyle, they don't recommend taking that. But I'm just giving it a go for a month and seeing how it changes or makes me feel, okay? So you see, I'm not even taking that much. I'm literally just taking 
uh, you know, few supplements. And I also realized like you don't want to overdose on supplements. Another thing that I ordered for fasting, uh, I know a lot of you probably heard of Dr. Berg. So I ordered his electro powder, electrolyte powder, because the one that I had before had sugar. This one doesn't have any sugar and it, it looks pretty good. I've only tried it yesterday. I haven't really seen much difference, but I'm going to see when I fast and what it does. But yeah, this is basically what I'm taking right now. And I'm taking magnesium. Oh, wait, no, I'm taking something else. Hang on. I'll take you to my bedroom. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Okay. So yeah, so this is another thing that is a miracle. If you're suffering with constipation, um, this is Tutka okay uh 500 mg okay so two tablets at night take it at night this will help with your digestion and it will help with cleaning your liver and everything else okay i think anyway and then magnesium citrate okay magnesium is an essential you have to take it every night okay it helps with your nervous support system it also helps you go to the bathroom if you are suffering with um you know poop situation <laughs> um so yeah anyway at night at night and it has to be the 400 mg okay no less than that otherwise there's no point anyway hopefully this was helpful that was a light slightly longer video than i anticipated it um but i'm just trying to help you as much as i can give you as much information as i can and what i'm doing right now let me know if <laughs> let me know if anyone wants to do this cleanse with me i'm gonna do it probably in a month after my birthday um and if you live well nobody lives in playa do they but if you live here and you want to do it together let me know anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know leave the comments down below and i'll see you soon